do have a cold so I sound so congested I can hear myself talking and I'm just like girl you sound like crap um, but I needed to sit down today because we need a video for Wednesday you guys are seeing this video on Wednesday and we needed to get some content out okay I already took a break I refuse to take another one so we're gonna work through it and I don't know about you guys but when I'm sick I can't just lay in bed I feel like I feel more sick that way so I rather just get up and be active and disinfect everything and obviously today I sat down to film this makeup look for you guys which I'm really excited for so I wanted to bring you guys at least one more New Year's glam makeup look and you guys know I don't do cool tones so this is very different for me but I do love the way the look turned out and I've also been obsessed with this super elongated eyeshadow look I think it looks so pretty and it really does flatter my eye shape so I created another look with that kind of like blown out eyeshadow look and like I said I'm not super into cool tones but I really do like this look and girl I'm even wearing silver hoops which it's so funny my mom's actually downstairs right now watching TV and I text her real quick and I'm like hey mom like do you think I could borrow some silver hoops because I don't own any and I did a cool tone look I just need them for my intro and she was like yeah no problem so shout out to mom for coming through with the silver jewelry because I do not wear silver so this entire look including the jewelry today is super out of my comfort zone really quickly I just wanted to let you guys know I dipped into quite a few palettes today and now that I'm looking at the palettes I could have just used one palette so I'm actually using one eyeshadow from the new Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse palette I really wanted to dip into this palette and really test out the formula and it's amazing and I used this shade right here called Smoke such a beautiful gray it is gorgeous I love it and then I also used the black eyeshadow from the circus temp palette by Lorac pro you guys see me use this palette in my latest makeup tutorial and the black eyeshadow in here is incredible it is very very matte black and pigmented and then for everything else including the shimmer on the lid I used the ColourPop smoke show palette this is what the palette looks like right here and this palette is so beautiful and I was so impressed with the shimmer you guys I didn't put any pigment glue down or any glitter glue before I put on the shimmer this is just the shimmer on its own and how beautiful is it I am obsessed and now that I'm looking at this palette it actually does have grays in here it has a matte black and it has a shimmer that I used on my lid so I really could have just used this palette by itself to create today's makeup look and made it more of like an affordable New Year's Eve glam so I didn't think about it because I started the makeup look and then I went into my collection to grab this for a gray eyeshadow and for the shimmer um, so yeah so after the fact that I was like wow I could have just used this palette so if you guys have this palette on hand and you want to recreate this look this will be perfect and it'll be the only palette that you need so I wanted to just mention that really quickly and that is basically it I'm gonna stop talking because I sound like crap but before we jump into today's video please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you guys have not already I do post a new video three times a week every Monday Wednesday and Friday so if you guys are interested in seeing three new videos I do beauty videos and that includes makeup hauls a ton of makeup hauls on this channel obviously and makeup tutorials like the one that you're watching today a beauty review so if you guys like to see videos like that make sure that you subscribe and of course as always if you guys would like to see how I created this makeup look today then just keep on watching <music> Okay guys, so of course I'm going to be prepping my eyelid first and I'm using my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor number 2 and by the way you guys, I'm using a new mic today so you guys have to let me know what the sound quality sounds like. Let me know if you think it's better, if you think it sounds the same, let a girl know. So if you guys are new to my channel, I usually use this base most of the time so I like to dot it all over my lid and then I take a small buffing brush just to make sure it's nice and evenly blended and I use tapping motions to blend this out instead of swiping motions. So the first 
palette I'm going to be using for today's look is the Circus Temp Palette from Lorac Pro. And I'm using the matte black in this eyeshadow palette and it's called Top Hat. You guys, this palette is so nice and this black is super pigmented. It is amazing. So I'm going to be using it on a tiny blending brush, but it's more of a compacted blending brush because I just want to really build up the pigment and focus and create the shape of the eyeshadow. So as you guys can see, I'm basically just creating like that rounded shape and I'm not worrying about blending at all at the moment. So we're going to jump into the Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse palette next. The cover is gorgeous and I'm going to be taking the shade Smoke in this palette. It's a beautiful deep gray and now we're going to start to blend that black. So what I'm going to do is pick up the shade Smoke on a tiny blending brush and I'm basically going to just press it or tap it against the line that we left from the black shadow. So wherever that shadow is ending, that's where we're going to tap this color and what that's going to do is basically start to diffuse the black and create that really beautiful gradient that we want to go for. So this definitely does take a little bit of time, so take your time with this. You want to make sure that you're not pulling this too high up to the brow because you don't want this to look like a black eye. We want this to look like a nice, pretty New Year's Eve glam. So moving on to the ColourPop Smoke Show palette. This palette's beautiful, you guys. I'm going to be taking the shade Stone Face right? Yes, Stone Face. It's a really nice, like, lighter gray. This is a gray that the Eternal Eclipse palette, unfortunately, did not have. I feel like it's missing a lighter gray and a black as well. I think it would have been perfect, but overall, it was a great palette. So, now I'm taking an even bigger brush, and I'm basically just going to start to diffuse everything. This is going to be the last shade that we're going to be using um, that's going to be the closest to the brow. So I wanted to be sure that I was using a shade that was light enough so it looks really nice and diffused and not too intense. So I went back in with the black eyeshadow just to intensify the crease because obviously we used a lot of grays and it kind of gets lost. So you want to make sure you have that intensity in the crease. And as you guys can see, the eye is not perfected at the moment. Right now, I'm just worrying about placement and then we can obviously perfect it later on. So I went ahead and added some more of that lighter gray and now we can go ahead and cut the crease so of course you guys know I like to clean up the lid so I'm gonna be using my Garnier micellar water and just a couple of q-tips I'm not making it super perfect like I usually do because it just really wasn't necessary for today's look so I'm basically just cleaning up the lid as best as I can because I do not want the black to mix with the base that we're gonna be using because um, it'll just be a disaster but it really didn't matter because we were going over it with the shimmer shade anyway um, but I am a perfectionist so the extra step for me was was not a problem so I went in with blank canvas of course and you guys I can never get this on camera I get so close to my mirror it's ridiculous so we're gonna fast forward now the crease is nice and cut and I'm gonna take a buffing brush and just make sure I pat it out really well because this is a really thick base and I wanted it to look really nice and smooth when I applied the shimmer so the shimmer we're gonna be using on the lid is from the ColourPop smoke show palette and it's the shade starstruck you guys I was so blown away with how beautiful the shimmer was I didn't add anything to it. This is the shimmer on its own. It performed so well. I was very impressed. So I took a very flat brush, a very compacted brush, just to pack this on to make sure I had a nice even layer of this shimmer. And you can pack it on as much as you want. It didn't get crumbly. It didn't get cakey. It was amazing. So then I decided to add a little bit of this shade right here from the Lunar Beauty palette as well. Um, it was just a little bit more of a chunkier silver, which it didn't make a huge difference, but I wanted to use another shade in the palette. So then I went in with a tiny detail brush. This is a paint brush from Michaels. And I just went back Back into that matte black eyeshadow that we used and I'm just gonna put that close into the crease because I wanted to of course make sure that it looked nice and intense so let's jump into the outer corner really quickly I'm gonna first start off with the matte black of course and I like to place my eyeshadow kind of super close to my lash line and then I'll worry about blending after so now that we have everything laid down now is the time to start to really pull out that eyeshadow towards the temple so all I'm doing is going step by step so I started with the black then I went back in with the gray and then I went back in with the lighter gray and you just continue doing the same process until you like the way it looks so I decided to go in with this elf glitter I'll leave the name to it down below and I just packed a little bit of it on the lid and you couldn't see it on camera but in person it was really beautiful it has a really nice reflect to it um, by the way I'm gonna link everything down below so you guys can just click on the link to each product and find it super quickly if you guys are interested in anything that I use today so the last thing that I did for the top of the lid was I added a little bit of a black liner this is the morphe black I believe it's a felt tip liner yes a felt tip liner in the shade ink 
super beautiful and I've been using it very often. It's amazing. And then of course, I'm going to give myself a good coat of mascara. This is the KKW Beauty Mascara. It's my favorite. And then for lashes, I'm using the Pink Leaf Cosmetic Lashes. Um, I don't think they carry this specific style anymore, but if they do and if I can find it on their website, like I said, everything will be linked down below. So I went ahead and added my lashes and that is it for the eye, for now at least. So let's go ahead and move on to the face. So for primer today, I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty Water Jelly Primer. I actually have been really enjoying this primer lately. It's a very hydrating primer. It definitely does feel like you're just rubbing water on your face, but it does hydrate. And then for foundation, I'm using this combo. This is the Hourglass Vanish Thick Foundation. These are both super full coverage and together... They are a match made in heaven. And then this second one here is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick. They're amazing. If you guys have both of these foundations in your collection, please do yourself a favor and mix them together. The combo is incredible. The coverage is amazing. And it just looks like second skin. I was in love. And I've been using this combo quite a bit lately. Um, and I am going to go ahead and just blend that out with a regular beauty blender, of course. Do you guys see that coverage? It is amazing. And it looks like skin. I love it so much. So I usually use the beauty blender around my entire face. And then I take a smaller blending brush um, just to go ahead and get the foundation in between my brows. So for cream bronzing, I'm going to be using the Milk Makeup Bronzing Stick in the shade baked you guys have seen me use this bronzing stick so much on my channel it is so good and I'm using my Fenty Beauty brush of course it's my favorite brush for cream products cream bronzer cream blush it is just amazing um, I love this cream bronzer it's the perfect shade for me it's not too warm and not too cool and it just blends effortlessly it's beautiful so for concealer I decided to use an OG concealer this is the Tarte Shape Tape and this concealer is super full coverage if you guys haven't used it girl you're missing out it is like a cool favorite it's so bomb so I started off with the shade light medium and that's the shade that you guys are seeing here and then I'm gonna apply just a little bit of light neutral I usually use light neutral on its own but it was super brightening for today's look so I was like you know what let me mix the two together um, so that's what I did so of course I'm gonna go ahead and apply concealer everywhere I want my face to be nice and highlighted and I'm going to be using that same beauty blender just to blend everything out and as you guys can see the coverage is incredible and it is just so smoothing this concealer is bomb and if you guys didn't know it is exclusive to Ulta so if you guys are interested in trying it definitely check out your local Ulta I will leave the link down below if you guys are interested so to set the concealer in place I'm going to be using of course my collab powder I haven't found anything else that I love I'm sorry but I have to use products that I know are going to work so this is the collab set the stage translucent powder and like I always mention it's the one with the white cap not the one with the black cap this powder is truly incredible you guys it makes your under eye look so smooth and it gives you the perfect amount of brightness without looking too bright white it is just beautiful I love it so much and it works with every concealer that I own in my collection so to set the rest of my face I'm going to be using the number seven lift and luminate powder this is a recommendation from you guys and I love it it's so beautiful I don't think it's too comparable um, to the Charlotte Tilbury that's just my own opinion um, but I do love the powder it is very pretty so for bronzer I'm going to be using my MAC mineralized skin finish bronzer in the shade dark tan this is what it looks like right here I wanted to keep the skin a little bit warmer because the eyes were so cool I just wanted to have a really nice balance between warm and cool for today's look so this is a very very warm bronzer so I decided to use this as my bronzer today and I like to tap on my bronzer first just so that way I make sure it does not disrupt the cream bronzer that we used and then I go go in and start to really buff it out to really create that really nice diffuse bronzer. So for blush, I'm going to be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. This one right here is in the shade Sensual. I talked about this blush in my must-have blush video. If you guys have not seen my must-have series, I highly recommend you check it out. I actually do recommend some bomb products in that series, and I have a, quite a few of them up on my channel. So I will link down below the playlist for that so you guys can check it out as well. So I went ahead and added this blush to my cheeks. It was perfect. It wasn't too warm or too cool. Definitely a super beautiful muted blush. 
blush. And then for highlight, I wanted to go for more of an icy kind of highlighter. This is the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter in the shade Lit, and it was perfect. And it was so different for me because I'm so used to having a gold highlight. Um, but this one was definitely Silver Girl. Like, she is icy. So I went ahead and applied that everywhere that I like to highlight. And of course, I go back in with my blush brush just to make sure everything is nice and blended. And the face makeup is complete. So moving on to the lower lash line, I did already add this to my waterline. This is the cream gel liner from ColourPop. It's just the black one. And then I did go over that with the cream gel liner also from ColourPop in the shade Exit. It's just a pure white. And this created a really nice, beautiful gray color, of course, if you mix black and white and that's the kind of look I was going for so now moving on to the lower lash line um, I'm gonna first be taking a flat definer brush and I'm taking the shade top hat which is that matte black that we used and I'm gonna press this shade super close to the lower lash line I do not want that diffused look that I usually go for and then I went in with this super tiny detail brush just to connect the outer part of the top of the lid to the obviously the lower lash line so it looks really beautiful and then I'm gonna go back in to the shade smoke from the lunar beauty palette and I'm basically just gonna diffuse the black just a little bit just so that way it matched the elongated eyeshadow that we have going on um, but like I said you want to keep it very compacted because I didn't want it to look too diffuse because it'll mess up the eye shape so moving back into the smoke show palette I'm gonna be going in to the shade young love and you guys know I'm super picky with my matte white eyeshadows but this one was beautiful I highly recommend this color pop palette it's so gorgeous and then I did take a little bit more of the shade starstruck which is the shimmer that we used on the lid and I'm gonna be popping that into the inner corner as well just to kind of give it that really pretty like glittery kind of look I mean it is New Year's Eve glam so you want to be a little bit bolder than usual and then I did also decide to take a little bit more of that elf glitter and just apply it to the inner part of the eye as well but like I said you can't really see the shimmer of this on camera but in person it was really really beautiful so now I'm gonna go ahead and jump back in to the shade stone face from the ColourPop palette and I'm just gonna add that to the outer part of the eye one more time because when I applied my foundation it kind of got lost because uh, obviously I have to put foundation in that area so I just wanted to make sure that I just re-intensified that and then of course I went back in with some more black just to make sure it looks really nice and smoky and that is basically it for the eyes I'm gonna go ahead and add some lower lash mascara this is just the same KKW beauty mascaras it does wonders for your top lash and your bottom lashes girl it will be linked down below if you guys are interested so here's the eyes complete so let's go ahead and move on to the lips so I'm not using my KKW lip liner in the shade nude number two are you guys proud of me but I am using this one right here this is the Kylie Cosmetics this was a part of her collaboration with her sister Chloe this is her lip liner in the shade handbag ho this used to be my favorite lip liner it's still a favorite but unfortunately when she brought it back um, you can only now get it in a lip kit and I don't use the liquid lipstick um, but yes, I was that girl who bought like four lip kits and gave away the liquid lipsticks just to keep the lip liner So yeah, that's the only bummer about that So now I'm using a little bit of my Laura Lee Los Angeles liquid lipstick in the shade Nakey Nakey of course And then this lip was a little bit too warm toned So I have been loving this method I've been taking my P. Louise base in the shade rumor number zero Which is a pure white base and just adding it right into the center of whichever lip combo that I'm wearing Usually my nude lip combos it is perfection, you guys. Like, this took the lip combo to, like, a whole nother level. I love it so much. Like, it's my favorite. You guys know I live for a nude lip, and this combo is gorgeous. So, I went ahead and added that base, and this is what the lip is now looking like. It's not too warm. It's perfect. So, now let's go ahead and set this entire makeup look in place. So, I'm going to be using two setting sprays today. The first one is the Morphe Madison Beard setting spray and this one is called seal the deal it's a beautiful shimmer setting spray but you guys know my look is not complete unless i add a little bit of my glow recipe a watermelon glow mist i can't do a makeup look without the setting spray it is just my absolute fave and then i just recently got the new baddie b matte black fan you guys know i love my baddie b fans i usually use the pink one but now i have the black one and she was perfect for today's look so i'm gonna go ahead and dry down this setting spray and once it's completely dry this look is is complete we are ready to pop out and slay for 2021 goodbye 2020 i really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look let me know what you thought about it down below and of course as always i hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys